Hey guys, this is Fable from Face World Media. I finally decided to record this video because Final Cut Pro is not always very accommodating. The reason is after you have installed effects for the first or second time, it just disappears. I'll show you guys what I mean. So after loading Final Cut Pro without changing anything, I noticed that right here, as you can see under uh, title and generators, all of a sudden I don't see something that I have already purchased, which is called the easy edit. This is what easy edit looks like once you make that purchase. And this is a very standard format for any plugins you would likely purchase for Final Cut Pro. As you can see, I have titles and transitions. Usually you receive them in a zip file that you unzip. Now, um, the question is, where do you drop these files? There are a lot of false videos on YouTube, unfortunately, taking to the wrong place. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to find it. So I'm going to start with a new tab. And if you're on a Mac, the first thing you want to do is simply go to your applications folder. Just hit the F key to find Final Cut Pro. The first is FaceTime. The second for me is Final Cut Pro. Now here's the tricky part. Now from here, what you're going to do is right click and go to show package content. From there, I like to change my view into column so I can see what comes after that. So highlight contents from there, go to plugins. After plugins, click on media providers. Then after that, click on motion effects dot FXP. And after that, click on contents. Again, you see there's a loop going on here. And after that, you want to click on resources. Within resources, there is again a folder named templates. Click on that. And now you finally get to the folders you actually need, which are these two right here, titles and transitions. Now, um, what you want to do is simply go back to where you downloaded your plugins. Again, for me, uh, what I want to do is simply just copy easy edit YouTube essential library right here under the titles folder. You don't want to highlight any individual folders here. Just copy this entire folder and drop them right here into the equivalent titles folder. Sometimes you'll be prompted to enter your password. So go ahead and do that. Next, what you want to do is go to the transitions folder and make sure you copy the transitions. For me, it is this one right here. So I'm going to come back to transitions and make sure that I again, copy and paste it here. As you can see, these files are pretty extensive, so it might take a little while. Now, while it's loading, what I must mention is make sure that you're, make sure while you're doing this, you're making these changes uh, that you quit Final Cut Pro. Otherwise, these changes will not be reflected once you go back to a copy of Final Cut Pro that's already open. So make sure that you close it up. So once all the files finishes transferring over to the right folder for your Final Cut Pro, then you'll reopen the application, go back to title and transitions. You'll be able to see the files there. Good luck. I hope you find this helpful and keep on creating so much love from Phase World.